How's it going guys? It has been a long time since I made an actual video. I don't know if my voice sounds different. Uh, it has been a long time because I'm a lazy fuck. So one of you people puts out a comment on my Steam profile asking how do you do the potion and boss soldier thing. And I thought I couldn't leave you guys hanging so I guess I'll do the explanation. Okay, I, I guess it works. So basically, I'll be explaining how to do this. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on. So I'll, I'll try to explain as best as I can. I'm also gonna explain how to do the boss soldier. Well, kinda. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know if I have that file anymore, but I can just recreate it. It's fine. So okay, basically what I'm doing is I created a um, what I like to call a .cfg file, and I'll just explain to you guys how to do it right now. So, to find your uh, CFG files and where you have to put them, your scripts, you have to go to, uh, you know, you go Common, Team Fortress 2, then you go to TF, and then you gotta go to CFG. Here you can find, I have a lot of stuff here, like, more than anyone should have, because I'm a fucking crazy person. But yeah, basically, you find not as many files as I have, but you find quite a bit of CFG files and some text, t uh, yeah, and some text files for some reason, uh, so what you want to do basically is create a file and make it so it's .cfg. So for example, if you want to create it, so you know, you do text. You know, if this would, okay, good. So you know, you create like a text fo file. You want to get this txt, you know, this .txt file and you want to rename it. Well, rename the extension to .cfg. And that's how you get a CFG file. You can edit just like any text file. You can just do anything with it really and that's how you get a cfg file i'm gonna delete it because i don't have any use for it special drink is basically this right here and that's basically all there is to it this is literally everything you need to know on how to make the special drink so i'm gonna break it down uh code by code here so the way i'm doing this basically is i'm doing an alias command if you don't know what alias is then go back to my alias video but basically, if you do something like alias, I don't know, like suicide, and then kill. That means if you type on the console suicide, it's gonna trigger the command kill. So basically, it creates like shortcuts for like a chain of events, kinda. But basically, this is what I do, right? I do this, and this is the entire command. So slot 2, well, it's pretty straightforward. It makes you select the secondary weapon, and then it makes you taunt, and then it does all the effects. So technically, it doesn't really work with like, if, so let, let's say you're using the milk, for example. It's not gonna work like with that. You have to specifically select either the Criticola or the Monk Atomic Punch for it to, let's say, look normal. So it's kind of a bootleggy kind of thing. You know, you need to have everything set up so for it to work. Okay, so basically, as I already said, it switches to your secondary weapon. Then you put a Coldum. Basically, what a Coldum does is it allows you to put more commands after the trigger. And then you put wait 55. I just put wait commands to make sure everything works. Because maybe because sometimes if you do everything at the same time, of course it's not going to work. And this is not based in seconds. This is based in like whatever timer TF2 runs on. So this is like half of second. So then you put wait 55, then plus attack. Basically that makes it so you attack. And with the bonk atomic punch, it makes it so you drink. And then you got to cancel it. Minus attack after is because if you don't put minus attack, then this is gonna, you're gonna attack permanently. And then you do the end fire command. So end fire, set model scale, exclamation mark player. I explained this in my end fire video. I'll link it down in the description, probably. And then it waits 20 and then you do, and then you change back to one. So this gives you like the like Mario shrinking effect. Wait 20 again. Then you go uh, player model, set model scale to 0 0.6. And then the final one being set model scale 0 0.45. And then it also gives add con 30. And then after waiting 1650 ticks or whatever kind of timer the TF2 runs on, you get add con 5 for a brief second. Then add con 8, then you do this. And then it removes the add con so you don't get fucking permanently immune. 
and then it sets your size back to 1 and then it removes that contrarity. If you know all the commands that we talked about in the series until this point, you know what all this means. So yeah, basically that's about it, you know. It's a chain of uh, events, a big chain of events that leads to all that to the whole effect so you know i'm gonna go back to the game now so remembering everything we did okay so as you can see if you type alias in the console it also shows you what the alias does so after putting the whole command you just type special underscore drink and then you press enter that's what an alias does it makes a it makes a shortcut for the big chain of events and then after you know and then after press, pressing enter you're gonna see all uh, this stuff happens. So I switch to the secondary. You know, it happens really quickly. It looks kind of epic. Yeah, and as you can see, I get the little Uber before I go back. All that I explained just happened really quickly. And as you can see... Oh. So that's, uh, like, an issue. You know, it's not like this is a plug-in. It's pretty unprofessional, if you ask me. Oh, see, I didn't even drink at that time. Sometimes it glitches. I don't know why. I think I broke it. So it's kind of glitchy, but it works for the most part, I believe. And that's basically all you do. Now, I'm going to create a whole new Look command so you guys really understand what's going on. I said in the other video about alias that I would exp explain how to do the boss soldier as well. So I'll create the alias command right here now so you guys understand. Let's start with the basics. Basically, I want to create a tf underscore bot underscore add one blue team. I'm going to name him... I'll just call it boss. And then what you basically do is, uh, we wait one second. Then we want to give him a special effect. So, basically what I'm going to do is give the boss a number of add cons. So, for example, add con 74. Then that makes him big. Bot command. You can, you can search all of these in the add con wiki. Let's say we want to give him faster attack speed. Let's say we also want to give him add con 45. Which basically gives you some resistance. Okay, now here's the tricky part. Now, you can do this in a lot of ways. Okay, actually, I'm gonna teach you the easy way. It's kind of complicated, but okay. Basically, what you need to know is that you gotta do ent teleport and then 2. Here's the explanation that I understand it as. Basically, what this ent teleport does is teleport a unit to your crosshair. So, when you join the server, you are marked as entity number 1. So, as you can see, teleports me right now. Which is pretty interesting. But then... As you can see, there's no entity number 2, so if you spawn a bot, it basically becomes entity number 2. So if we put ent teleport 2, it will work. This should be the whole command, and let's see if it works. As you can see, it looks fine. Look at that. It works. He has a lot more health, he takes a lot less damage, like Jesus fucking Christ. He's big as fuck. And yeah, it, it works as expected. Also, yeah, if you want to specify a class, I forgot to mention that. So you probably want this as a different class. So let's say you want this as a giant heavy. You cannot put heavy, you gotta put the class as heavy weapons. And yeah, the teleport is actually always stays as number two. And it should work. As you can clearly see, there's a giant heavy. He does a lot of damage. And he has a, a ton load of fucking health. Like, holy damn. You cannot kill him anytime soon. And that's basically how you create the boss. Uh, yeah, and if you want to remove him, just do uh, TF underscore bot underscore kick and, uh, space boss. And he should be removed. So that's how I basically did those things in the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know if I explained it well, but hey, I don't know how to explain it as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I hated it. And I see you guys in the next one. By that I mean probably in fucking five months. Anyway, thanks for watching I guess. Bye bye.